We have an unprecedented opportunity in these unprecedented days. Introduction. There's universal recognition that the days in which we live are unprecedented. I'm 83 years of age. I've never seen anything like this. I went through the depression. I went through poverty. I grew up in poverty. That's good. I know how to appreciate a glass of lemonade and a bologna sandwich. You'll be 91 years of age soon. Have you ever seen anything like this, Wilma? Never. It's universally recognized that the days in which we lived are unprecedented. The plagues in Exodus 7 through 10 were delivered against the gods of Egypt, not the people. The people got in the way because they would not turn loose of their gods. Delivered against the gods of Egypt. Now, our generation has accepted as normal the gods of secularism, assuming in mass the idea that origins by our omnipotent creator, that is life originating, life created, different Adam and Eve and horses and dinosaurs, etc. All of that creation is a myth. It's assumed in mass in essentially all of the educational system. But the fullness of the Gentiles has come in, Romans 11, 25. We're ripe for harvest, and we have invited our own crisis. God doesn't have to bring judgment. Just leave us to our own peril that we've created ourselves. Matthew 24, 7 is being fulfilled. But it would be within the compassionate character of our Lord to give this generation one more vital evidence of biblical truth before his coming. That's the reason we're very excited about the current excavations on the McFall property. So we're excited about the current excavations on the McFall property. The first two artifacts listed in this lesson came from that site. This is fruitful background from which we proceed. If human footprints among dinosaur tracks could be documented as authentic to the satisfaction of the unbiased scholar, the implications are enormous. Professor David H. Milney of Evergreen State College, Olympia, Washington, and Professor Stephen D. Staffersman, I know him personally, of the Department of Geology, Rice University, Houston, Texas, admitted that, quote, human and dinosaur footprints together, such an occurrence, if verified, would seriously disrupt conventional interpretations of biological and geological history and would support the doctrines of creationism and catastrophism. And notice their words. They call their evolutionary interpretations history and they call our ideas doctrines. But they do admit that if we could prove that as they laugh, they'd be in serious trouble. Professor A. E. Wilder Smith carried the implications even further. And I knew him during his life. Personal friend. He wrote, and he had, by the way, he had two earned PhDs and a long number of, long list of, uh, of degrees. One authentic man track found in the same stratum as one authentic brontosaurus track. Brontosaurus became brachiosaurus, but at the time of the writing, it was still known as Brontosaurus. One authentic, just one, found in the same stratum as one authentic Brontosaurus tract throws out a hundred years of evolutionary teachings. It is sufficient to bring the whole Darwinistic theory down and revolutionize all biology today. It could do that if all scholars would listen. But as Richard Dawkins said when he saw a clear human footprint in the same stratum with a dinosaur footprint. What did he say? One word. What was it? Impossible. Impossible. So it's a matter of the heart, really.